So here we are, first lesson of Microsoft Outlook, looking at the screen. So the Outlook data file used for this course uses Andrew McSweeney, and this is where you will find specific items mentioned such as appointments, contacts, or tasks. Take a moment to review how Outlook appears on your screen, then at the left side of the screen click the, these arrow buttons to expand or collapse the folder bar to display the full folder panel. If this is the first time Outlook has been started on this computer, you will expand the bar. So it's talking about right here. You would click this arrow, click this arrow, just going back and forth. And then it says to click the pin to pin the folders bar and keep it expanded. So click on this little pin right here. So simple enough. Mark that as answered. Let's go to the next one. At the top right of the screen, so this is the top right of the screen, click the Ribbon Displays Option button. That's this button right here. See where it says Ribbon Displays Option? And then click Auto Hide Ribbon. The ribbon no longer appears. You see there is no ribbon at the top. This view is helpful when you want to see more of the screen and access to the ribbon is only as needed. I hate it when the ribbon's not there. That's just my personal preference. Alternatively, you can use the ribbon display options buttons more than once to set other actions for the ribbon. Double click the title bar. Well, up here at the top is the title bar. So I double clicked that. Now my instructions went away. Whoa. Let me see what we're doing here. Click Customize Access Toolbar to redisplay the full. Uh, click the ribbon display. Click Show. And so it's just wanting us to show this again. So click here, Show Tabs and Commands. All right. Your screen should return to the same view prior to step one. So this is what it looked like at the beginning. You notice this arrow's back, so on and so forth. So that's what it should look like. It's just showing you how to display different things. In the peaks bar, well, over here on the left-hand side, this is your peaks bar. Point at the calendar. So if you point at the calendar down here, it previews the current month with a note indicating whether you have anything scheduled for today. And you say that it's, mine says I have nothing scheduled in the next seven days. Click the calendar. Today's date should be highlighted in a shaded box. You can see right here it's March 22nd, 2022. That is correct. So mark that as answered. Let's go to the next one. It says click the three dots in the peaks bar. So right here we're going to click those three dots. Then click notes. Click the mail icon to return to the inbox. So you see there's most. So right here, we're going to click the mail, and that takes us back to the inbox. Mark that as answered. Submit. Submit results. And this completes looking at the screen.